We got uh, Coach Ethan and Coach Noah here today. Uh, Noah is, uh, he thinks he is Lionel Messi. You see it on the back of his shirt right there. Uh, but he's a great soccer player. And so we're going to talk about the basics of soccer. Just to... I got a trivia question for you this week. Uh, and this is about uh, uh, running. Uh, who is the fastest man in the world? The fastest person in the world? Uh, the, the <laughs> and, and Noah knows who it is. He just did the guy's pose right there. Uh, his name is Usain Bolt. Uh, and, uh, so, and most people know his name uh, as being the, the, the record holder for the fastest 100 meter in the, in the world ever recorded. Uh, he broke the record in uh, 2008 and he got he made it faster and faster in 2012 he set a time of 9.63 seconds and he's uh, recorded a, a time even faster than that but uh, here's the question for you and we'll uh, give you the answer later here's the question how much faster was usain's bolt time than Jesse Owens time at the 1936 Olympics? That's the question. So uh, we'll get to that later, but uh, right now well, we're just gonna start with the absolute basics of, of soccer. You know that soccer is, a, is about uh, scoring goals and uh, you gotta score more goals than the other team to win, right? That depends on moving the ball. Right now, Ethan's moving the ball, but if, and he scored a goal. But if Noah is able to get the ball from him, Ethan is not able to score, right? Because it's all about ball control. Who's got the ball? Can you keep the ball from the other team? And can you get the ball into the goal, right? Uh, so, so that's called ball control. Because and you can't use hands. <laughs> you can't use your hands in soccer, right? Everybody knows that. No hands in soccer. And uh, only the specially designated goalie, of course, can use hands. But uh, so it's all about your feet. And so Coach Noah here is going to show us how to properly use your feet on the ball. Okay, so Noah, uh, uh, show us uh, what you have on your shins right there. Lift up your shorts a little bit. What is that? Oh, these are my shin guards. Your shin guards, huh? Okay. Uh, part if someone kicks okay so right here so if you get somebody yes. to kick you on the leg it doesn't bother you you don't feel the pain because it just hits the shin guards so shin guards are important to wear in soccer if the other teams are if everybody's wearing cleats and stuff like that because you don't want to get kicked by the cleat notice that noah is wearing cleats right now and uh, uh he's going to show us you uh, control the ball no how do you how do you place your foot on the ball you want um well there's different ways to do it just show us like when you're dribbling when you're dribbling you want to go like with the laces of your um cleats you don't want to keep it on the inside of your shoes sometimes if you want to make a turn you can use the outside or inside of the shoes okay but my i would recommend on using your laces because you have more control of the ball. Okay, show us like dribbling from that corner of the yard over to here. Yep, okay. Show us, uh, go back to that corner again. Show us uh, keeping the ball in between your feet as you dribble. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. He's got the ball on the inside of his feet. He controls the ball. Notice he, uh, when the idea here is to not let the ball get away from you. Uh, don't let the other team get it. Okay. All right. Uh, so show us, let's have Ethan come on over here. Coach Ethan, come on over here. And if you're passing the ball, how do you place your foot on the ball when you're passing? You want, um, you want your, your foot like this? So it's hitting the sideways. inside of your foot? Yes, and sideways, and so when it goes, it rolls like this. Okay, very good. And so you want to, when you're passing the ball, you want to kick it hard enough so that it gets there, right? But yeah. not so hard that it flies 
past your your teammate yep. you want to hit it hard enough so that it gets there like uh, Ethan show us hard enough so it gets there okay very good that's okay uh, he didn't hit it so hard that Noah couldn't have handled it it's just that they were so close together Noah wasn't expecting it quite like that Noah show us uh, what happens oftentimes when, when people uh, don't kick the don't pass the ball hard enough yeah see it only goes about right there and the other and then the, your teammate has to come up to the ball to try to get it you want to pass the ball to your teammate you want to get the ball to him right okay so show us again Ethan the inside of your foot yep okay and then you control the ball when you receive it you control the ball before you try to move it right okay Good job guys uh, so when you're receiving the ball uh, when you're receiving a pass uh, how do you how do you do that, Noah? If if you want to put your foot on the top of the ball with your your spikes on the bottom of your cleats and stop it like that, or you can stop it like this. Can you catch it with the inside of your foot too? Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that because if it, it sometimes it bounces right off and goes pretty far. Or you, you you should uh you could use your the outside of your foot softly. Okay, let's see you do it. Very good. Okay, let's let's see if you guys pass it back and forth for a little while. Notice you want to control the ball before you try to pass it. Good job, guys. Uh, so right now, what we want to talk about is uh, how to shoot a goal. How to hit the ball when you're when you're uh, trying to score a goal now if you have an open look at the uh, goal and you have a chance to, to shoot it you want to hit that ball solid enough to get there with some uh, all right good job guys I want to share with you our devotional today we uh, had the same thing that we picked up last week from Philippians 314 which uh, says I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus and I want to give you the answer right now to that trivia question I asked you earlier. Uh, so Usain Bolt had run a time of uh, 9.63, I think it was, uh, and uh, in the in the ten or in, or in the hundred meters uh, in 2012. And the question is, what was Jesse Owens' time in 1936? How much faster did Usain Bolt run it than what Jesse Owens had done in 1936 and the answer is it was a little more than a half second faster than Jesse Owens time uh, Jesse Owens was uh, 10.3 but consider this Jesse Owens ran on a slower track he had slower shoes he had less advanced training techniques all of those things who knows how fast uh, Jesse Owens could have been given all of today's advances and everything like that but uh, uh, Usain Bolt ran it about a half second faster a little little bit faster than that but uh, I press on it's the idea of a runner pressing hard to the finish line that's why I'm talking about Usain Bolt and Jesse Owens this verse I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call and in, in, in in God of God in Christ Jesus it's like a the idea of a of a runner pressing hard toward the finish line when he's getting close to the finish line he doesn't slow down he runs through that finish line leaning forward as, as hard as he can it's because being with God in Jesus is worth everything imagine if the house across the street was for sale and uh, you found out there's a treasure deep underground in the backyard of that house across the street the house is for sale and their treasure is worth millions what would you pay what would you be willing to pay to get that house so you can get the treasure uh, Jesus himself tells that story as an illustration of what it's worth to be with God what would you give up to be with God uh, to because that is the true treasure you'd pay whatever it takes uh, what will I do to be with God? I, I don't want to let anything come in between me and God. I, in one sense, we know that we don't pay anything to be with God because Jesus paid it all for us. That's We just had Easter and everything uh, the other day. Jesus died and was resurrected for you and I. But in another sense, 
you and I are going to be pressured to go after other things other than God. And uh, the question is, am I going to let things come in between me and God? Or am I going to press hard to that finish line? Am I going to uh, sell whatever I have to in order to buy that treasure across the street? I've got to let those things go and press on forward to let nothing come between me and me and God. Uh, have you ever had a time where you wanted to hug somebody uh, or even a new puppy or a cat or something? You just wanted to hold them so tight, so close that there couldn't possibly be anything between you and them. That's kind of the idea. You want to press into this. We've got to hold close to God. God loves you and I so much, and the best thing in our lives is to be close to God. And so with that, I want to go now back to uh, Coach Ethan and Coach Noah, and we're going to see some Okay, now we're going to see who can uh, make a shot from the furthest out. Noah wants to try it from halfway across the street into the goal. Let's see if he can do it. Ethan's going to try it from the same spot. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> the, ball, the ball takes off. That thing's gonna fly away. Go ahead, Ethan. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Okay, Noah thinks that he's going to have a better chance of making this goal from all the way across the street than halfway across the street. Let's see what he does. Ethan is taking a more modest approach, not going to mess around with this curb business anymore. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> there must have been a hole in the net. Okay, Noah's going to follow suit. Let's see what he can do. Okay, the ball. Okay, Ethan, can you beat that shot? That's the question. Can you, can you make it from further out than that shot? That's not further out. I was right there, Ethan. Okay, let's, that's going to be an awkward... <laughs> oh, <laughs> The tree is the best goalie today. For an angle at this, hopefully he doesn't hit the tree. Boom! Goal scored! Goal!